What's going on everybody? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone and this is your weekly news update uh, guitar gear stuff. Okay, so we had NAM last weekend and you would think that there would be tons of stuff to tell you all about the NAM show, but actually it was pretty small. That doesn't mean there was nothing cool there. We're going to talk about a couple of things. However, it was a lot smaller than it normally is. As a result, it was kind of give and take. I can still hear, I'm not sick, and I still have a voice. So those are positive things. Um, kind of the net less positive things were I didn't get to see as much cool stuff in person as I'm going to tell you about right now. So overall though, it was pretty cool. Uh, we got to make a bunch of contacts and meet a bunch of people. That was cool. You could have a conversation without screaming your head off. It, you know. So it was pretty nice. Reverend has expanded their Reeves Gabrels line, Cure guitar player, uh, with the latest Dirt Bike Royale. So sick. I saw this guitar in person at NAMM. Oh my goodness. This red in person is shockingly good. It has Mojo Tone noiseless P90s in it. Um, this thing is sick. I love the Sensei body shape. This is a really, really cool guitar. French company Wild Custom Guitars has produced the latest Billy F. Gibbons signature model. When you look at this guitar, you're like, yeah, that's Billy Gibbons. That makes a lot of sense just because of the shape and like the vintagey, hot roddy look to it. However, the not as Billy Gibbons part of this, which I think is really interesting, and I find it interesting anyway because I'm a pickup guy, is that it has a switchable pickup system. There's like a rotating revolving barrel in it uh, that carries multiple pickups. They call it the G-Rock system, or Gyrock, maybe it's Gyrock system. And it comes with the Grizzly Wild Customs P90. It comes with a Wild Customs Humbucker. It comes with the Jalapeno, a Seymour Duncan Pearly Gates. It comes with the Seymour Duncan Red Devil as well, as well as a lipstick tube. The other thing too is you can get like replacement barrels and swap different stuff out. So this is an interesting guitar. Is it a bit of a novelty? Probably. Is Billy Gibbons going to play it on stage? I don't know. But uh, it's an interesting idea and it's an interesting execution of an idea. Would you buy this guitar? It, so it's a Billy Gibbons model. I don't know how much it costs, but if it was a guitar that you felt that you wanted to spend money on, would you buy a guitar that you could switch pickups in? That's an interesting question. Would you switch pickups on a regular basis? Is that a thing that you'd be into? Put that in the comments. The only part of Gibson that was at the NAMM show was their goofy like Game of Thrones guitar throne thing. And they had like a couple of guitars there that you could like selfie with or whatever. I did not do it but it was there and I did see people lined up to do it. Well, when I say lined, I mean there was only like four other people at NAMM. So like the other three people that were at NAMM besides me were lined up. Anyway, it, it was there. That was their only presence at the show. But there's a very good reason for that and that is because the Gibson garage is like a block away. Uh, you can click one of these gray boxes up here and it'll take you to the tour that we did uh, of that place it's amazing and of course there's a video where I went and bought a guitar and we have a bunch of content coming out about that so you can check it out Gibson is really on their game in my opinion and they're coming out with some really really cool stuff first of all let's talk about the Epiphone line of slash guitars um, they are going to take what they did with the Gibson line all the same colors and stuff and they are going to bring it to Epiphone. And I believe, if you're watching this video right now, the specs for that those guitars, uh, when I recorded this, they weren't out, but I think while you're as you're watching this, those should be out on the Epiphone Gibson website, and you would be able to see all the specific specs about the, Gib about the Epiphone Slash set series. Explorers and Vs are some of my favorite guitars. I want a Carina. Explorer really bad They are coming out with a reissue of the 58 
Explorer and the V, like down to the spec. These are custom shop only guitars. Since there was only 19 Explorers made in 1958 and like 81 flying Vs, that's all they're making. These are gonna probably be pretty expensive guitars and they're gonna be worth a lot of money someday, but still super cool that they're doing this. I believe they're coming out on July 27th. Gibson also announced that they are coming out with three new artist models. So you have the Tony Iommi SG Special that is basically modeled after his monkey guitar with the sticker on it, which is really cool. They will also be coming out with the Jerry Cantrell Wino, that wine red Les Paul. And they are also gonna be coming out with a Nathaniel Ratliff LG2 Western Acoustic in a vintage sunburst. So these three guitars shall be coming out in the next few weeks. And uh, you can go to gibson.com to understand all of their exact specs. If you are fans of any of three of these players, I would imagine that they're gonna match fairly closely because these are gonna be pretty cool guitars. It's weird to say that the week after NAMM, there was not more guitar news uh, that I could find as I scoured the interwebs, but it makes sense in a way because a lot of companies handled this NAMM season a little differently. I thought it was very interesting. Uh, we're gonna talk about Gibson, we're going to talk about the NAMM show, um, some other finer points of it on our live show on Thursday. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. And we're going to dive into a couple of things uh, about this. We made some other Gibson related content yesterday and the comments have been pretty lively place. So we're going to chat about some of that stuff on Thursday as well. So uh, our live Q&A Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time, be there hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, especially if you like guitar news, because next Tuesday we're gonna do the same thing. We'll see you soon.